Hi everybody, it's Raquel from Cali Scrap and Creations and I wanted to share with you another custom order that I received um, from my Etsy shop. Um, this album I am titling it um, Pixie Tales and I used the Prima Pixie Glen paper pack for this. Um, it's for another book for grandma and um, I think it's super super de duper cute. Um, it took me about a few days to finish this because the order that I have is this book and then I have another one that I'm going to show you after this one. Um, but I'm going to do another video for it because it's probably going to be too long. Okay, so starting out, um, as you can see the front, it has uh, Wild Orchid Craft flowers. Here are some um, frame plates from Seven Gypsies, some vintage, um, a vintage button, um, a feather. And then here is some beautiful, beautiful trim that I uh, purchased from A Crafty Life. Um, we're friends on Facebook. And then I purchased the seam binding ribbon from another lady on Etsy. I can't even think of the name of her site. Um, but she has all this seam binding, so I thought that would be super cute for me to use. And I wanted to say that this is going to become my signature binding for my books. So I'm going to call it the Cali Scrapping Binding Technique. Um, I still haven't done a video on how I do it, but that's still to come probably after like the holidays because I'm super duper busy with doing custom orders. I'm making centerpieces and everything. So I'm pretty busy, but I'll get around to it. Um, as you can see, the book is super, super thick. Um, the binding that I used for the tie closure is just ribbon and I just glued them on the side um, with the uh, vintage button and then tied it in the middle. Um, the back, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful paper. I just love this paper pack. I had such a joy making it. Um, so then it opens like that. And as you can see from the front, there's some bling in the front. There's more Wild Orchid Craft flowers. Um, majority of the flowers that you see throughout the book are from Wild Orchid Craft. So I want to kind of get that out the way. Um, so as you can see, the binding is on the side with the uh, ribbon that I use there. And then there are all these luscious, luscious tags um, for the pictures, 4 by 6 that I made. Some of them I did a little stamping on the back, a little butterfly stamping from Inka Dinka Doo. And um, some of them I just wanted, the paper pack was so filled with so many different embellishments, so I wanted to put the little rose, little border on some of them. Um, and then I stamped the back. You can still put pictures, or she can still put pictures on the back of it, but some of them are stamped because I just wanted to do a little something different. Um, and then I also used the, uh, the DCWV, the country, uh, French country stack as well as what I used on my other one because it went so well with the paper collection. Um, here's some more of that gorgeous trim. And um, here's the second page and more bling flowers, a little um, umbrella there and then a little more little tags that came with the, um, the embellishments that came with the paper pack and then I just attached a little thing called funny. Um, the lady that I made this book for her daughter is a model um, so she wanted a lot, a lot of room for her daughter's pictures to go in there. And when she asked me, you know, how many photos do you put in the books? And I was like, ah, it's about 40 photos, but I count it in this book and it's about almost 60. So it has enough room for 60, um, four by six photos. And then here are some cute tags. So a photo can go here, here, here and then on the back, and then I just used some of this really, really cute trim that I also purchased off of uh, a girl off of Zibit. And I can't think of her name, but I'll um, put it in my link below. Um, really, really cute tags. Um, so those just slide in like so, and then this was a, a separate tag. Again, I just put some stamping on the back, um, distress the edges. I mean, look at this paper pack. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I just completely love it. Um, and this one I just did like a little fold out little piece. Um, I clipped this little clippy thing here so it can hold these tags that are here. Um, but then you see there's like three, three tags there for photos and the back. 
and then those just slip right underneath there and then I attach these little cute little fairies like on the side I just I was just so happy with this book I just thought it was beautiful and on this page um, I did my little holding for more tags um, this trim I'm like so in love with it I mean just really look at the details of that of the trim that's there it is absolutely so beautiful so I contacted her and I had to order like more of it I mean it's just so beautiful look at the details in it um, here's a little journaling spot where she can journal some of the photos um, that are on these tags and let me zoom back out because now I'm too close he 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 and um, there's some on the back it's just different I, I just had a ball I put some tool on some of them put some ribbon on some of them as well um, and then on this particular side here's some more tags so she can put more photos there and then on the back tuck those in there and I think my battery is like running low on my camera because I see a light blinking so I'm gonna try to hurry up and rush through this before I have to start it over um, and here are some more flowers I'm um, in the corner with some bling some beautiful beautiful vintage lace with some flat back pearl beads um, it's just it's just so cute I mean I was working on this book all week and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful the way I put it together. Um, it gives her exactly what she wanted. Just a feel to put um, photos in. I mean, it's, it's, it's wonderful and I feel so honored to be, um, to be working on this because it's going to be like model photos in here. So that's super cute. Um, and then this ribbon just unties and then it just opens like that. So just a little, just a little detail. Um, that I liked I like to do um, and here's some more tags on this side and that's the front of the tags those are the back of the tags and then the last page um, here's a side so they can hold these photos as well um, some trim um, vintage lace some more embellishments from the paper collection and then here are the tags that go within it. So, super duper fun. Had a ball making it again. I'll say it 50 million times. Um, I definitely hope that she likes it. I plan to ship out the book tomorrow. I have another one that I had to show, so I have to ship out, ship out two of them tomorrow. Um, and then the book just closes like so. And then there's a look at those uh, at this vintage button there. So I hope you all like it. Um, please leave me any comments below. And if you need any custom orders, please get in contact with me. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get them out by Christmas, but if you tell me what you want, I might be able to or go to my Etsy store. I have already pre-made books there. Toodaloo and happy uh, holidays. Bye.